Now that the Labour government is in power, it is more likely that they will apply the tax changes that they talked about before coming into power. I will explain three tax changes expected in the UK and some of these changes will have huge implications for taxpayers. I will make a few videos on this topic because it's quite hard to cover everything in one video. I'm a chartered accountant from London and I help people deal with finances and tax. Number one, VAT on private school fees. Labour has made it clear that they would abolish the VAT incentive of private schools, which means that private schools will most likely pass this additional cost to their customers. Private schools in the UK are about to get even more expensive. Number two, capital gains tax. This is an interesting one. And as you may know, in comparison to earned income, capital gains is a, is a tax efficient way to grow your money. Although we don't know exactly what changes will be introduced by the Labour government, they never denied not increasing it, which means that capital gains tax is going to go up in the UK. A good tax planning tip would be to analyze your unrealized gains and think about if you would want to crystallize them if the rules were to change. Of course, there is more to come on this point, but it is a good idea to at least be prepared for it. Some areas which are likely to get affected would be the property industry, as well as the capital gains when you sell assets. Number three, tax on the carry. This is mainly for the private equity sector. UK has a solid private equity sector and one way for the fund manager to earn money is by using what's known in the industry as carried interest. At present, they benefit from an attractive tax treatment on the carry. This is likely to change under the current Labour government. And this is where it's a bit of a balancing act because even with the current reduced rate of tax, um, they contribute a lot to the economy. They make a ton of money and they pay tons of tax. So there is a risk of losing some of these fund managers if the tax rules were to change. I hope you found this video useful. It's quite challenging, once again, to cover everything in one video. So if you'd like to stay connected, please feel free to like and follow this channel. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.